So let's take a little bit of a look at what TidyB cluster running in Kubernetes looks like. We'll look at some of the resources available from the operator and how we can interact with TidyB operator to manage our deployed TidyB cluster. Uh, first, let's take a look at the resources that are installed as part of TidyB operator. So we can see that we have our TidyB cluster, TidyB initializer, TidyB monitor. We also have some backup resources that are installed as part of the cluster. And these all work together to operate and maintain TidyB clusters running in Kubernetes. Um, so if we use Kube Control to get a list of TidyB cluster resources that are running. Uh, right now I have a single TidyB cluster deployed in this Kubernetes cluster. Uh, and getting the cluster data here shows the three types of nodes that are part of a typical TidyB cluster. We have the PD node, the placement driver, we have TyKV node, that's the distributed key value store, and we have the TyDB node, that's the stateless SQL layer. So in Kubernetes, of course, we want most services to be stateless. Uh, the TyDB front end, the TyDB server, the stateless SQL layer is indeed totally stateless, so scaling that is seamless and super easy to do. Kubernetes does a really great job scaling that. TyKV is very much stateful because that's where the key value data is persisted. And that's managed by um, the operator. Um, we, of course, rely on PVs and PVCs to persist data. PD, the placement driver component, is responsible for maintaining information about the regions uh, that hold the data and how they're distributed across the key value store. PD also is responsible for creating timestamps, which are the transaction IDs that are allocated to each transaction in a TIDB system. So one operation that I want to show about the TidyB cluster is how easy it is to actually upgrade TidyB using uh, a TidyB operator. So first, let's get a look at the pods in the cluster. Um, kube control, TidyB cluster, let's get the pods. So we can see here that we have three PD pods, two TidyB pods, a Ty flash pod, and three Ty KV pods. And we can, of course, edit the TC to change some properties of the cluster. So one of the properties of the cluster that we can change is the version that's actually deployed. Um, let's pop down here, we see the version, and this is, applies to all components of the cluster. Let's see if we can upgrade that from 5.1.1 to 5.2.1. Uh, this should be as simple as simply changing that flag with kube control edit and then writing this TidyB cluster resource out. Uh, now if we get the list of pods again, we'll see that TidyB operator has begun the rolling upgrade process. So we're shutting down the first of the PD pods. It's going to first do a rolling upgrade of all the PD pods. Then it'll do a rolling upgrade of all the TyKV pods. And finally, it will do a rolling upgrade of the TidyB pods. Uh, that, of course, takes some period of time because this is all done in a way that the entire system stays online while the upgrade is happening.